Hi, I'm Vicki Heyman with the University of Wyoming Weston County Extension. And today I want to talk to you about skillet meals. I love to make skillet meals. They're really easy. What's better than one pan, easy cleanup. And it's a skill that I think everyone should have in their toolbox. So let's talk about skillets for just a moment before I get into the recipe that I'm going to make for you. Skillets come in a variety of sizes. Most common are six, eight, 10, and 12 inch skillets. This happens to be an eight inch skillet. And this one is closer to a 10 inch. I have all four sizes at my house at home. They come in really handy depending on the quantity I'm going to be making in my skillet. Today, for our demonstration, I'm going to use an electric skillet because it's easier for me to demonstrate what we're going to do with this skillet recipe. The other thing about skillets you need to know is the interior. Is it stainless steel, which is non-stick, which is what these are? Is it a cast iron skillet? So there's a variety of materials. I've even seen ceramic skillets. So just read the manufacturer's directions to become familiar with how to use your skillet. Some can take high heat. These skillets, for example, are all metal construction, so they go in the oven. And I do think it's important that you have at least one skillet that you can place in the oven. A cast iron skillet take special care. You want to make sure that it doesn't rust. And if you can find your grandma's old cast iron skillet, it's worth its weight in gold because it's probably really seasoned well and acts like a nonstick skillet. Stainless steel, I find you have to cook with a little bit of oil unless you have a lot of liquid. So let's go ahead and make this easy skillet meal. I've created some handouts for you on the care and information about skillets. And I've also developed a recipe card that has four different skillet meals. Today, we're gonna make the cheesy ham and broccoli quinoa skillet. I have my skillet up on 300 at this point in time. I want medium high heat. I'm going to add some broth. It's one can of vegetable broth. And I have one cup of cooked, or I mean uncooked quinoa. To that, I'm going to add onion flakes, garlic powder, dried thyme, and I want to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. If you prefer, you can measure your salt and pepper. I just sprinkle on a little bit. Now, I'm going to bring this back up to a boil. It's boiling now because my skillet is hot. So I'm going to add the lid, and it needs to cook for approximately 12 minutes. We'll come back and check on it in just a few minutes. It's been approximately 12 minutes. So let's take a peek and see how the quinoa is doing. Carefully lift the lid away from your face so that you don't get a steam burn. The quinoa is coming along nicely. Now it's time to add ham and broccoli. You can use any type of protein. I happen to pick ham in this recipe, but you could substitute it with any cooked diced meat. Also, for the broccoli, you can substitute some other kinds of vegetables whatever you prefer. We're gonna put the lid back on and let it cook another four minutes until the broccoli and the ham are heated through.
when I was stirring the quinoa, before I added the other ingredients, I did take note of how much liquid was still in the skillet. If it's starting to run dry, feel free to add a little bit more broth or water to it. If there happens to be a little bit of water in the skillet when you're done heating the vegetables and the meat, you can drain it off carefully with a spoon, but I don't think we'll need to do that today. After it's all heated through, we're going to top it off with cheese. Stir it up and it's ready to serve. This meal was ready in less than 20 minutes and makes a wonderful weeknight busy item to serve to your family. When the quinoa develops little curls or tails, it is done. It's getting very close, just a few more minutes, and it'll be ready for the cheese. Well, it's been four minutes, so let's take a look and see how the quinoa, broccoli, and ham are doing. Everything smells wonderful and it looks nice and warm. I don't have any excess liquid, so I'm gonna to top it with cheese now. I'm just using cheddar cheese, but you can use whatever you like. That's one thing that makes skillet meals so nice. They're very versatile, and you can use whatever you have on hand. I want the cheese to melt to make this a cheesy dish. Let's take a look. And here you have it. You have the cheesy ham and broccoli quinoa skillet. Now, if you don't care for quinoa or have rice, or something else, it can be substituted just as well. The cooking time might vary, but you'll have a wonderful quick meal in the skillet within minutes.